Warning, the following podcast has been classified as insanely lucrative. Listener discretion is advised. And then, finally things started kicking in. Amazon's like, okay, you know what? We've ran three, four days worth of sales here. Let's give them a little bit more love. Your attention, please. 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 Listening to the AMPM podcast may cause recurring revenue streams and unfair, un- unfair advantages over your competitors. Other side effects may include better wallets, fired bosses, and longer vacations. Listen at your own risk. Here's your host, seven-figure entrepreneur and online marketing madman, Manny Coates. Manny Coates. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the AMPM podcast. My name is Manny Coates, and I will be your host, and this is the show where we discuss how to generate recurring revenue streams 24 hours per day during the AM and the PM, hence the name of the show, AM, PM Podcast. Get it? As a matter of fact, I was on a train, a party train, I might add, on the way back from Santa Barbara, where I had a blast. And while we were on that train having wine, cheese, and a bunch of screaming party girls that were in the same cabin area that we were in, I was making money. How cool is that? Pretty cool, I think. So guys, today I want to talk about losing money to make money. And I know that sounds really weird, but I think a lot of beginners, people that are just getting into the game, don't really look at the big picture or the long-term strategy, okay? So here's an example. When I launched my first product, um, I started running pay-per-click right away. This was back in December. Guys, I haven't been doing this this long, okay? So, or that long. I've been, I started back in December, okay, of last year. So it's been, what, five months, roughly? And uh, anyways, my first product, I started running pay-per-click right away, okay? And I was losing money, no doubt about it. My ACOS or ACOS was crazy high. It was ridiculous. Okay. But you know, the ACOS, that high number that was on the sales generated through advertising. Okay. It wasn't on all of my sales. A lot of people get all freaked out and they go, Oh man, my ACOS is nuts. It's so high, but you're still making, you should be hopefully making organic sales. That's the whole idea of, of getting that pay-per-click going right away. Okay. So as, as, as I was running this pay-per-click, my sales velocity was increasing. Okay. And when your sales velocity increases, what happens? Your organic ranks for your various keywords start to increase. Okay, not just for the keywords that you're using on pay-per-click. Granted, yes, if you're running pay-per-click on specific keywords and people are buying through those keywords, those keywords should, or those keyword phrases should be increasing in rank, right? That's what I see. That's what the majority of people see. But as your sales velocity increases, and this is the overall sales that you have, per hour or per day. As that goes up, your whole account gets a big boost. Okay, you get this organic ranking overall on everything. So keywords that were on page five or page, let's say they're on page 10, um, they'll move up. They might move up to page nine and slowly they start to move up. So anyways, for me, as time went on, my ad spend overall went down. Okay, nice. Let me try to explain that a little bit. I was paying a lot on pay-per-click. My ACOS was really high. My cost per click was really high. Okay, I was only being shown, my ads were only being shown on keywords where I was spending just a crap load of money per click because I wasn't getting any of the cheap stuff because I didn't have any kind of ranking yet. There was no history for my product and those keywords. So Amazon wasn't really showing it yet or it wasn't showing it in any kind of volume. But as I started making sales, Amazon started saying, oh, hmm, okay, they're making sales on these keywords, which are maybe not the best keywords, but they're really cheap. So we'll start giving Manny some more of these keywords. And that started increasing uh, my sales, right? A little bit of, I was getting peppered, right? Uh, A few sales here, a few sales there. So anyways, I was getting these placements for the cheaper keywords that I didn't get before. So what happened? Sales started going up. Sales velocity starts going up. After that, I started ranking on page one for a lot of keywords, okay? Now I had hundreds of keywords, right, at the time. But for a lot of those keywords, I was getting page one listings. So my organic sales went up. Sales velocity goes up, right? It increases even more. So I didn't have to run as much pay-per-click now as I did earlier when I started, when I was first starting out, right? To generate the same number of sales. Because now I've got these organic sales that are coming in. 
okay and the organic sales are starting to replace for me anyways the pay-per-click sales right so my costs are going down and also because I'm getting these cheaper clicks right because I'm being shown Amazon saying hey this this product's more relevant now this guy's actually making sales I'm going to show more keywords I'm getting the cheaper uh, keywords so my actual pay-per-click costs overall started to fall okay it might be a little hard to visualize everything that I'm talking about so what I did is I created a video that goes over everything okay it's gonna show my sales numbers uh, day by day for the first 12 days of when I was running this pay-per-click it's gonna show the pay-per-click spend that I'm doing or that I was doing daily um, how that actually grew little by little um, and then how it started jumping like leaps and bounds at a certain point when Amazon decided hey enough is enough let's give this guy some traffic um, it shows how the pay-per-click um, amount the actual cost per click fluctuates based on when Amazon was giving me various um, traffic like when they gave me the really good keywords versus when they were giving me kind of like the the low-end keywords and you'll see how I went from just two sales per day when I was doing this two sales that's it per day to the very next day it was four sales and the very next day after that it was seven sales and then finally things started kicking in Amazon's like okay you know what we've ran three four days worth of sales here let's give them a little bit more love and organics were starting to pop in I was starting to get more pay-per-click I mean, you know my costs were going up for sure but it went from seven sales per day to 41 sales the very next day that's huge guys right it's like what a 600 percent almost a 600 percent increase overnight and then by the end of the 10th day I was hitting five thousand dollars per day in sales now let's not kid ourselves right I lost money for pretty much the first 12 days okay the first 12 days my ACOS was so high my pay-per-click was pretty much eating all my profits that I was making and I didn't have huge profit margins back then when I first did it I rushed everything in I had express air shipments my pricing was higher because I was ordering uh, smaller volumes it was the first time I was dealing with my supplier you know all the the normal stuff I had to pay for getting all the initial packaging done and, and uh, everything right anyways the first 12 days no money or I mean I was making money but I was I was not making any profit and then bam finally after the 12th day what happens the profit gates open up that's right I was making some profit finally so that's what I'm trying to say here um, in regards to people sometimes just look at things way too quickly you know I mean when I launched my products uh, or initially the, the first product and all my products I blasted out probably a hundred review copies um, as quickly as I could okay all in probably a day sometimes two days depending on the product okay and you're gonna have people out there you're gonna have pros out there that are gonna tell you to spread the reviews out okay you need to spread the reviews out you don't want to get them all in one day but I mean let's be serious here do you really have a choice how are you going to miraculously get every reviewer to post a review on the exact day that you want it just doesn't work that way guys unless you're doing something crazy black hat where you can you know control that it doesn't work that way right think about it it doesn't work that way the truth is that these reviewers you know they're if I put all of these review all these coupons out in the first day one day right um, even in one hour let's say they all go out in one hour okay the truth of the matter is that these reviewers they're not going to uh, use your discount coupon right away I mean some of them are some guys are gonna grab that coupon and within minutes they're gonna be ordering your product other people they're gonna take days okay they're probably gonna take it all the way up to that that expiration date whatever you set for it okay and then some of the reviews uh, or some of the products that people get um, are going to be reviewed within an hour of them actually receiving that product okay others are going to take weeks they're not going to be reviewing it for a long time okay so in the end you're just going to get a natural flow of reviews even though you blast that out all of your coupons you know in a day or even in, in an hour whatever it is that you did right does that make sense so the reviews come in looking somewhat organic I mean they are right they're just coming in naturally you might have a day where you get a ton of reviews you might have another day where it's slow and it just kind of jumps up and down I never paid that much attention to I just put them all out there when people reviewed them they reviewed them and that was it right and obviously not not all of your products get reviewed that's kind of the pain of it right you know if you get 60 percent of the people to review your your products you know I guess that's decent 70 percent is good and 80 percent is awesome anyways I, I would say that most people 
that well, let me let me change that. I wouldn't say most people. Let's say many people. Many people are short-sighted when they jump into the Amazon game. Okay, they're looking at profit levels today. Profit levels right now. I want to see what my profit levels are. Oh my God! Right? They go in. They look at their ACOS right for their advertising. By the way, if you're brand new, ACOS means advertising cost of sales. Okay, so it's how much you have to spend in order to generate a sale. So if you're at 100%. That means that if your product costs $30, or I mean, sorry, if you're selling it for $30, it costs you $30 to actually generate that sale. You never want 100% ACOS because <laughs> you're spending $30 in this example to make $30 back, but that $30 you had uh, shipping costs and production costs and all your costs, your Amazon fee costs. So it's not really uh, $30 you're making, right? But anyways, uh, these people, they go in, they see the, their ACOS is at 100%, or whatever it is, right? 50%. And they freak out. They go in and they start cutting things out real quickly, right? The, the same day they see that report, okay? They're like, man, that's crazy. I got to get rid of those. And they they do that. And guys, that's bad, okay? They, they could be cutting out golden keywords, you know, that just haven't had time to settle in. It happens, I'm telling you. And some of those keywords, let's be honest, they might be the ones, uh, the ones with the real high ACOS that are driving the majority of your sales initially, Okay, and you need sales velocity. You got to have this at the beginning if you want to succeed. All right. I mean, not in all cases. I shouldn't say that as a matter of fact, right? You know, that across the board. But generalizing, you need sales velocity. You want to get those sales going so that your organic lift across your entire account goes up. Okay, and especially in the beginning. So think about it. I mean, the sales velocity over time is what's going to help you and your entire account rank higher organically. I know I keep saying that, but I, I just want to drive it in. It's nuts. You got to do it. Okay. And this is why I always say it's really difficult to start uh, selling as an FBA Amazon seller if you don't have at least $2,000 because there's costs, right? You've got to lose money initially. And I talk about that in, in the episode I did where I talk about the Manny Coach launch um, strategy and what I do, you know, and I've been using this exact strategy, uh, with everything that I do. And I'm going to be using it again in just a couple of weeks when I launch my next product. Finally, right? Product number 11 is coming out. As I mentioned earlier, I recorded a video that I posted on our Amazon Facebook group where, again, for the first time, I've opened up and showed my first 12 days of pay-per-click ad spends, right? How, you'll see where it starts. So it's really small and it starts growing and growing and getting bigger and bigger. And it gets really big. And um, I'm also showing the, the clicks that I was getting right? And the cost per click, you'll see how that goes up and how it goes down and the sales volume so that it goes along with it. You know, the data is just awesome. I think when you see it, it's really cool. So anyways, to see that you have to be a member of my Facebook group. Okay. And the Facebook group is called FBA high rollers, the FBA high rollers. Okay. So you need approval to join. Okay. It's not just an open group, but you can request approval by going to um, our website, go to ampmpodcast.com and click on that big, ugly <laughs> uh, Facebook graphic on the right-hand side, the one that says, Join the Private AMPM Amazon FBA High Rollers Facebook Group. I know it's a lot of words, but that's what it says. It's ugly as heck. It's over on the right. Click that. Simple as that. Boom. You'll be approved, hopefully, within the same day. Okay? Now, back in episode number 35, I was talking about misspellings. And I posted um, as well an exclusive video in our Facebook group on how to find really good misspelled words and which ones to avoid because they just won't rank, right? And I, I, in the video, I show you why they don't rank and how you can check this. It's just one more reason why you should join the Amazon FBA High Rollers Facebook group so you can check out these exclusive videos and posts and things that we make. So go check that out, guys. It's really cool. And um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I have. I, I hope I've driven in the, you know, the point that you need to potentially lose money initially to make money, or at least to set yourself up to where you're ranking very well. If you're trying to make money right away, you know, very, very quickly, and you start cutting out too much stuff and you're not spending enough, you know, you, you might just be stalling. You, you might, I mean, you could, you could do it and you could start making some sales. But if I had done that with my product, who knows, maybe instead of getting to, you know, to $5,000 a day in sales, it would have stalled out at $400 a day at sales because I would have been not spending enough to to get that entire organic lift on my account, right? So, all right, guys. Um, another thing I want to mention is beyond the Facebook group, which 
I hope you go join right now, right after this uh, this episode ends. Um, I also do Periscope, so if you get the Periscope app, um, you know, just join me, follow me there at Manny Coates, and uh, I do those. I try to get on there at least every day, sometimes every other day, depending on how busy we are. Uh, check that out, and um, yeah, if, you, if this is your first time listening to uh, the podcast. Uh, give me a like if you don't mind. Rate, uh, give me a review on iTunes or Stitcher or, or wherever it is. Um, that helps. Okay, guys, that's it. I will see you guys on Thursday when I'm on with Guillermo for our Q and A. Um, and until next time, have a great one. Talk to you then. Bye bye. You've been listening to the AM PM podcast hosted by Manny Coates. For more information, insider, insider tools, tools, and to get the resources mentioned in this episode, visit ampmpodcast.com.